I am Johnny Massacre and welcome to the Johnny Massacre Show. This is the Thursday Night Massacre and this is the Mike Pence, Kamala Harris debate reaction. I can't believe I sat through all of that shit. Fuck me. So just a quick summary. You should probably watch this shit before you read anything in the media because as soon as you read anything in the media or as soon as you start reading comments online, it starts to shape your opinion about what happened before you've even seen it. So I unfortunately couldn't help it and I had a little peek online about what people were saying and the only takeaways were really stupid. So I saw on a few feminist websites, aka fat rainbow-headed bitches websites, that Kamala Harris shut down Mike Pence and then... I started seeing loads of headlines about that with some quote about, excuse me, Mike, I'm speaking, or something like that, a quote that Kamala Harris said. Even the BBC, which is one of the most liberal, excusing screeds available, that dresses itself up like an impartial website, but it's fallen to the woke mob, had a headline that was just a quote from Kamala Harris saying something like, excuse me, I'm talking. So I watched the debate, and that was garbage that was nothing she didn't do any comebacks or put downs on mike pence actually she said in a really condescending smug way excuse me i'm talking or something like that and it just sounded like she's so used to being in her echo chamber when she's on the debate stage she's incredulous that someone will actually challenge her and she desperately tries to shut the door in her echo chamber it's a nothing burger as they say other takeaways were a fly landed on Mike Pence's head. Who gives a fuck? It's a fucking fly. That's stupid. So that happened. And that's pretty much it. So what about the debate itself? So look, Pence won that debate outright. It's mad. If you go online, and you can guess this before you've even gone online, you'll see loads of people on the left saying Kamala won the debate. And you'll see loads of people on the right saying Pence won the debate. The truth doesn't matter anymore. No one's intellectually honest. People pick their sides. Whatever happens, they'll spin it to their liking. George Orwell really predicted the future in 1984. He talked about double think, where you say two opposing things are true at the same time. And the purpose of that is so you can say anything and people will believe it. If two opposing things can be true, that means anything you say can and will be true. Anything in between your two opposing points and that's kind of what people do after these debates. The thing is, Fox, which is the, basically the only right-wing website, is far more honest website. It literally says what happens, but CNN always has some narrative spinning shit in their headlines. So as for the debate, I was really impressed with Mike Pence's pace. That guy set the pace from the off. I think there's something to be said for how you start something, how you go into something, the mentality and the pace and the speed and rhythm at which you kick something off can dictate the pace for the whole show. But you have to maintain that pace. And Mike Pence, he started off with a pace and he, he set the pace for the whole debate. The moderator had to follow that pace and Kamala Harris had to follow that pace. It was really impressive because the moderator kept trying to cut off Mike Pence and every time that happened, he didn't alter his pace one iota. So it kind of hypnotized the moderator and she kind of let him speak. And you could see the moderator was ready to kick a bit of us. She was this kind of austere looking, unattractive woman. So you know that she's had a lifetime of having to kick ass instead of fuck around and getting fondled at parties. And so she was ready for a fight. But because of Pence's surprisingly calm pace and tone, she seemed hypnotized by it and she went along with it. And Kamala Harris, trying to set a rhythm of her own, failed. So every time she was talking over the moderator, it seemed desperate and forced because Mike Pence had set the tone and she wasn't able to kind of keep up with it. She wanted to dictate her own tempo, but she was just bouncing off Mike Pence's tempo. So he really set the pace. So... The first question of the debate pretty much showed you everything you needed to know. After this, it just followed the same theme from Kamala Harris. So the first question is, what would you have done differently in January regarding the coronavirus, saying, imagining what the Democrats would have done? 
And before she even answered the question, I said to myself aloud, well, she's an ideologue and you know what an ideologue is going to say before they even say it. And I knew that she would, instead of offer any solutions whatsoever about what she would have done in January, she just was going to say orange man bad and 200,000 people died. And it's Trump's failure with covid Orange man bad, orange man bad, orange man bad. And that's exactly what she did. She didn't say what she would have done differently in January because the Democrats were suggesting nothing in January. Actually, in fact, when Trump shut the border to China, the Democrats, Biden in particular, was calling Donald Trump racist. So they would have kept the country open and more people would have died. But she said, yes, 210,000 dead under Donald Trump. And she talks in this voice, <laughs> kind of like this. And she dodged the questions and she started mentioning grieving parents. So she basically dug up metaphorically the dead people from COVID and exploited them to try to make Donald Trump look bad. It was predictable and it was very, very, very scripted. This woman will be your president if you vote in Biden. Now, Mike Pence was also very scripted. He was often asked questions and he stuck to a script. I'd much rather see people kind of ad-libbing a bit and being a bit more flexible. But Pence was much classier than Kamala Harris was. He said a few nice things about her and during the debate he came across as much more mature. Kamala Harris just has an expression like a horse's anus 99.6% of the time and this really fake smile. She's incredibly unlikable which is why she got smashed in the presidential debates. She went off at one point saying you've got to stand by your friends and was questioning the loyalty of the Republican Party when about a couple of months ago during the initial presidential debates, she basically called Joe Biden a racist and now she's best mates with him. So stand by your friends, give me a fucking break. Amazingly, Kamala Harris kept going on about how businesses are closed because of Donald Trump. When she is representing the party that in Biden's debate stated they want to continue the lockdowns. So again, this is Orwellian double think. It's saying two contrasting things in the same sentence. And it's amazing people can get away with this. She's saying it's Donald Trump's fault the businesses are closed when she wants to add increased lockdowns. She keeps talking about businesses being closed when the state that she represents as the Attorney General, California, has the harshest lockdowns out of anyone. In Florida, their Disneyland has been open for weeks, if not months. California's is still shut down for no fucking reason. So she's just contradicting herself all the time she's saying all the things that trump does are bad and she's actually doing that herself but much worse as i said pence has class when he was being interrupted he said if i may finish whereas when kamala harris said her little line it's so it's so not memorable at all and I can't believe the media picked up on it. But when Kamala did her own version of that, I'm speaking now, let me speak. Pence was much classier, if I may finish, when he was talking over the moderator. It turns out the moderator works for a news outlet that is leftist. Why? The previous moderator apparently was a registered Democrat. So who the fuck is picking these moderators and why are they all on the same side as the Democrats? What the hell is going on here? The moderator had a lot of loaded questions. She said that um, she was saying something about how the Trump administration made rules like wearing masks, but they don't even follow them. And when she said that, she wasn't even wearing a mask herself. I love the way they were all still pretending that coronavirus is a dangerous thing. Kamala was saying shit like people are now standing in a food line because of the administration that was unwilling to speak the truth when she's the party of socialism and she's pro lockdown and she wants the people to be on the government drip because that's what her party's all about complete hypocrisy the moderator asked kamala harris if she would basically force vaccines on people if her and biden get elected and kamala said regarding vaccines and whether people should take them she said she'd ask dr fauci that is typical of the left they don't trust people to make any decisions themselves, even over their own health. They'll ask someone else to make a decision about your own health with a vaccine that could potentially hurt you. I thought that was horrible. That She doesn't trust anyone to do things for themselves. The last question of the debate was really good. The moderator got a question from someone in eighth grade and it said, Democrats and Republicans are always just fighting and bickering, something like that. 
and I don't know, what can we do to make the country better? And Mike Pence was really genuine. He mentioned the girl's name and he spoke directly to the camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he came across as really genuine as someone who wanted to give good advice to a young person. And he finished nicely, tidily, succinct, succinctly. And Kamala Harris did it. And she was all oh, kind of wobbling around like this. And she, she made it all about herself and all about Biden, and all about Democrats. She couldn't even finish in time. And I think that pretty much says it all. Even when speaking to a little kid, she's looking to gain some kind of political advantage. So, I mean, Pence, right, kill that. The only thing you could criticize Pence about really is when it comes to environmental issues and stuff, he keeps saying about how they want to unleash American energy. And I just think generally people, smart people know that the energy sector can't be uprooted and replaced with green energy because it's inefficient and California does that and they're having blackouts and shit and it's extremely expensive and it's just not proven to be an effective solution but still bigging up coal power and fossil fuels is uh, is not such a good look in my book but overall Pence definitely won the the main takeaway in the media was it was a fiery debate I didn't think it was fiery the only thing I didn't like is they didn't let them have at it enough. They didn't let them debate enough. They kind of said their own independent talking points. And quite often the questions asked were different to each candidate. So what you really want to do is ask the same question and see how their views differ. I felt they both missed opportunities to take each other down. I felt that both candidates wanted to stick to the script when really all they had to do was really pay attention to what the other one was saying and then take their opinions apart on stage and discredit them, but they didn't do that very much. But the final thing I wanna say is, Mike Pence is just so much more genuine. When he talked about people who had lost their lives, like those journalists who were killed by the, the Beatles, those uh, British um, born or British linked um, ISIS terrorists, Pence, he looked incredibly sad and depressed when he's talking about the dead, the American dead, and then that sadness turned to anger his his chin was quivering with rage that guy gives really cares about his country and kamala harris had the gall to kind of question his patriotism and how he feels about all these dead people when she is the most obsequious politician ever she'll say whatever it takes to get into power she shagged that older guy to get into a position of political power and then claimed to not even know him she is she is a dirty, underhanded, lying, hypocritical politician. And Mike Pence is so much more genuine. And he really came across as someone who loves America. So I thought he won that debate. I'm looking forward to the next debate. I think Pence set the rhythm that Trump might pick up on. This is the baton he wants to pass on to Trump. I think the rhythm of Pence is what the Republican Party needs. And that was a masterclass in setting the pace in a debate and maintaining that pace all the way through calmly as I said even when the moderator was cutting him off he never sped up he never looked desperate he kept the same pace all the way through unlike Kamala Harris apparently news has just come out that they want to do the next presidential debate online and Trump said fuck that because he doesn't want to use that that batty boy zoom bullshit and then already you've got the headlines from CNN saying oh, Trump's scared and shit fuck all that man up meet each other in public and have it out we will see what happens so that's my take on the Kamala Harris Mike Pence debate I quite enjoyed it it's pretty good what did you think about it leave your comments in the box below and I tell you what mate you better be back for the next video otherwise I'll be coming around your house make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because that is what all those other cunts tell you to do laters